Hello everybody and welcome to Chris's Comics Corner. This week I want to talk about Alterna's new social media policy and whether it's a good or bad thing. So uh, I want to start this off with most of you probably know that Fortress Comic News has a professional relationship with Alterna. We talk with them to get a lot of their creators on our podcasts. Uh, I received copies of their books for review, and I've had back and forth conversations with the, not only the creators, but Peter himself, the founder and publisher of Alterna. So take whatever I say with a grain of salt, if you will, but know that I speak truthfully how I feel moving forward. That to the side, I want to talk about their social media policy and what it means for the creators of Alterna, and what it means for the fans of Alterna. So if you don't know, Alterna had a new social media policy, and the basis of it is that they don't want their creators using Twitter ban bots and ban chains, uh, that they prefer that those tactics not be used so that their uh, creators and Alterna themselves can reach out to as broad of an audience as they can. Now, anyone that does not know, I've done a little research on Twitter ban chains and ban bots. Basically, to distill the whole thing, what they do is not necessarily ban the person, but ban the... So if you respond to somebody on Twitter, your friends can't see what you said in the original chain. It's basically a way for some people to avoid piling on on social media. I completely understand why someone would want to use this. Uh, Twitter, especially of all the social medias, is known for the pile on, the, the mass hysteria, and all that. So I can understand, especially if somebody has controversial thoughts, why they wouldn't want that pile on. That being said, I also really understand the side of it from the business or community aspect. As somebody who is trying to build a community here at Forge Comic News, I want my message and my product out to as many people as possible. And in order to do that, I do it through Twitter, through Reddit, through all different kinds of means of social media as well as cons and other things in the similar way that a comic creator or comic publisher would in this world. So I personally have never used these methods and don't feel like I would use these methods. And luckily for me, I have not had to go about using these methods yet. Uh, I haven't had any very controversial moments that have led to a pylon or to people kind of coming after me and have avoided trolls for the most part. Knock on wood because I know that day is coming. So Alterna came out and said that they didn't want this being used. They want their message, their books, and their creators to be out to as many people as possible. So I reached out to both Peter and a bunch of the creators over at Alterna. Peter himself unfortunately was unable to respond to me. He's at a con. We were actually discussing having him do a quick interview with me to do as a kind of 15, 20 minute podcast to add to the feed. He's over at, I think it was Rose City Comic Con right now and is doing that. He's a busy man, was unable to do it, but he did do a really great live stream the other day uh, on their social feeds. Uh, a few of the creators, most said that they would love to talk about it, but they don't want sound bite information out there. They want to express themselves fully. A few of them are going to be on the podcast in the coming weeks, and I'm sure this is something that will pop up in there. So if you are interested in the subject and want to hear more and hear from the creators themselves, that's a great place to go. Uh, I'm sure they've done other interviews as well in which you can find this information. So at the end of the day, why is this a controversy? Is it a bad or good thing? This and that. Well, it became a big deal when a few people came out and said that this is in direct response to Comicsgate and that this is a pro-Comicsgate message. 
one of those people, the much respected, and personally I'm a fan of his work, Mark Wade came out and said that this is not something that he agrees with. In so many words, I am paraphrasing what he says. So, what are my feelings here? My feelings are that Alterna is just trying to get their message out and their product out to as many people as possible, and I understand that from a business. As a business, you want to get as many customers as possible, no matter who they be. And Peter himself has said on social media that comics are for everybody. Comics are for anybody of any race, any age, any sexual orientation, so on and so forth. He wants his product out to everybody. So, in that vein, a small part of this policy, which you're probably seeing on the screen right now, states, and it's in there in the middle of the screen, I really want you to pay attention to it, that this does not mean that the creators themselves cannot individually block people. Meaning if they have a troll of some sort or someone who's harassing them, they are allowed to block people. They just don't want chains that allow mass blocking or these chain blocks, as they call them, to go about. And if it comes down to that, it says in the policy to contact Alterna or Peter himself, and they will help in the process. So what I see here is kind of a, a give and take. So obviously, Peter and Alterna want as many people as possible to get their product. At the same time, being a pro creator company, they want their creators to be happy, healthy, and create work for them into the future. So, I don't think this is a pro comics gate statement. I really don't see how anyone could take that from this. I think that's kind of Twitter hysteria, if you will. Uh, it seems to me like Peter is trying to help his creators continue their work and grow as personalities. As personalities, as creators, as writers, part of that is dealing with some of the bad aspects of the medium of the internet. But that doesn't mean that you have to continually be harassed. And I, I believe that's what Peter is trying to say here and what Alterno is trying to say. So I really would like people to look deeper into this to see Peter's tweets. Peter, I know, has stated that it's been a tough time. He did uh, state to me personally that he's been extremely busy and this has been an extremely rough week. And I understand where he's coming from. I feel like he's being attacked for something that just isn't what people are making it out to be. Uh, I have talked to many alternate creators over the past couple months. Uh, both in interview aspect, through email, and different things. And I can tell you that all of them have told me over and over again what a great company Alterna is, what a great person Peter is, and how he really just wants to publish great comics that reach as many people as possible. And that just seems to be the mission statement of Alterna. And I think it should be the mission statement of all creative outlets in general, not just comics. So this social media policy is a part of it. Uh, I s personally stand by everything said in this policy. If one day I am able to own a business and we hire people, I will probably have a similar policy. Like, listen, I understand there's bad people out there. We could talk about banning. If somebody's harassing you, ban and then come to me and talk to me. But I don't want you putting in some sort of ban chain that prevents us from growing further and alienating potential customers. And I know it's tough to talk about this from a business aspect, but we're customers. Whether you agree with our politics or not, whether you agree with our beliefs or not, whether it be religious or personal, we're customers. And you want us to keep coming. Without the customer, 
there is no business. So I think that as customers, we need to look around and say, you know, just because so-and-so doesn't agree with me, <laughs> doesn't mean that he needs to ban or chain ban everybody that doesn't disagree with me. I do want to make it super clear though, that harassment is a whole nother level. <laughs> if I didn't make it clear in my Comicscape video, harassment's another level, it, that needs to end. Uh, and I've stated it over and over again, we need to be better to each other. So what I ask of you is to go out there, reread the policy that I posted on here, judge for yourself, and then go to both Alterna and Peter's Twitter and see the responses he's been giving. Because I personally believe that this is a man who loves comics and wants the comics that he's helping to create get out to as many people as possible. And this is just a symptom of a world that we live in. And unfortunately, it's not everyone in that world is the best of people. So everybody, thanks for watching. Remember, thumb up the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. And I'm gonna ask for a little extra today. Uh, anyone that went the extra mile, did the research, looked at the policy and agrees with me here, reach out to Peter and any alternate creator. They are having a rough week and I completely understand that this is not the best of times for them. So reach out, show them some love because those guys more than any, anyone need the love today. And I also ask that, although I really disagree with his policy or his belief, don't trash on Mark Wade, don't trash on any other guys that jumped on here. Just, just let them be. Uh, people have their opinions, people disagree with me, disagree with you, and we don't need to go out and jump on them. Let's just share the love with the Alterna guys today. And hopefully next week we can have a much happier video. Um, I need to stop asking for that because it seems like every week I have to do a more depressing video. But everybody, thanks for watching, and remember to keep on reading those comics.